Hi class, in this video, I'm going to describe and talk about cell cycle and mitosis. Okay, so you guys should be familiar with mitosis. Um, cell cycle is just sort of um, a, a leading topic into mitosis, and I'll be explaining mitosis uh, in a bit more detail. Now, what is cell cycle? Uh, now, cell cycle is basically um, your cell dividing and provide uh, you know producing two identical cells right so there are different stages in cell cycle normally there is a stage called G1 that's where cells normally uh, sitting in unless they need to start dividing right so G1 is kind of like a resting state and if you have a look at on um, the, the the table on the or the graph on the right, you can see the changes in the quantity of DNA um, and cell volume during the cell cycle, right? So the quantity of DNA, let's assume that is say, say we have 20, 46 chromosomes, right? So let's say it's 46 chromosomes here in G1, okay? Um, and the bottom, you can see the volume of the cell. And basically, close to the end of G1, you start seeing that this line start going rising. And you're going to end up with this S phase. Now, what, what I remember the S phase is the synthesis phase. So it's also known as the DNA synthesis. This is where DNA replications occur, okay? So DNA replications occur. I'll write it down here. And what you're going to end up with is that there's going to be 46, say, chromosomes. Now there's going to be a 92 chromosome over here, okay? And uh, basically that means that the cell volume actually increases as well, so it's continued increasing. And you're going to end up in this G2 phase. And again, the number, the, the quantity of DNA does not change, but the volumes increase, right? So you start seeing more and more volumes inside the cell, and you're eventually going to end up with mitosis, okay? Now, this could also be meiosis if it occurs in sex cells. So meiosis is where cell division takes place where one single cell is divided into two single cell and cytokinesis is sort of the end of the mitosis or endomyosis where the two cell bubs off okay so they split away and what you see over here is after meiosis the number my number of dna goes back down to 46 and same thing with my um, volume of the cell that goes back down to its original state where g1 is until the next um M phase that needs to be occurring. So as you can see that this cell volume was increasing again, um, and that is the basis of cell cycle. Now, if we look further into mitosis, uh, similar to last year, we're just going to add a bit more information uh, to last year's um, understanding of mitosis. But basically, mitosis is division of normal cells, right? So I'm going to write it here. Now, instead of saying normal cell, I would like you guys to start remember it as somatic cells, okay? So somatic cells. Now, what about sex cells? Sex cell gametic, okay? Because they're productions of gametes, so you say gametic cells. Now, imagine inside your cells, obviously you have these chromosomes that you have times it by 23, because you have... Um, you know, 23 from the mom, 23 from dad. Now, in this stage, this prophase stage, these cells, so this is mom, say mom's chromosome, and that's dad's chromosome. Um, the chromosome actually has been duplicated, okay? So DNA replication has occurred. And then now you end up with duplicated chromosome. So every time you see like an X representing your chromosome, that means that that chromosome has been uh, duplicated um, after DNA replications. Okay, so you have 23 pairs of these duplicated chromosomes. So technically inside your cell right now, there is actually uh, 92 chromosomes altogether. Okay, now what's going to happen is that these duplicated chromosomes is going to line up. in the middle of the cell. And I always like to say on top of each other. So they align um, 
on top of each other to form like a straight line like this. I'm going to just draw a little, um, little dash line to here. So they're going to line up at the center of the cell. And what you're going to get is these black line and called a spindle fiber. They're going to pull the chromosomes apart, okay? Pull duplicated chromosome. Apart. Okay, so they're going to attach themselves to the chromosome, so in various area, and what they're going to do is they're going to pull it apart. And at anaphase, and, and this is where the part where the duplicated chromosomes get separated, and there is a little dashed line here, and eventually, after in, in, the, in the position or in the process of cytokinesis, this is where you get two identical daughter cell. So you can think of cy um, cytokinesis as a process where the two cells are formed and now you end up with two separate cells that are identical to each other, all right? Now, in terms of the naming, the prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis, uh, we're not expecting you to uh, remember that. It's not tested, but you do know that there are different stages in mitosis where it begins with a single chromosomes or 46 chromosomes in total duplicated after DNA replications, then go into their two separate cells after the process of cytokinesis, okay? Now, obviously, regulations of this cell cycle is very, very important because we only duplicate or we only produce new cells or new um, DNA replications if we need that cell, right? So if I got a sunburn, obviously I need to replenish my skin cells and therefore I need to trigger this cellular growth. However, if the cells are somehow able to grow or divide without our knowledge or without consent, uh, then basically that means that uh, there are some type of uh, tumor cells, right? And these are potentially could be healthy tumor cells as in benign or carcinogenic or normally we call the cancerous cells, okay? This process is a highly regulated process um, because your body has multiple uh, de, you know, functions or multiple checkpoints to allow cells to divide or not to divide. So there's a, a, a set of uh, process that needs to go through before the cell says, okay, I need to divide and therefore dividing the cells, okay? Now, if you have uncontrolled mitosis or, or uncontrolled uh, meiosis, for example, you could also say that, then you're basically producing tumor. Now, these tumors sometimes, like I said, could be um, okay. So they just, they form a little, you know, lump, but it doesn't really necessarily grow anymore. You could potentially remove it surgically. Um, and those are benign tumors, but you could also have ones that are carcinogenic, or that just means they're very evasive. They will start, you know, attaining all the nutrients that you eat and, and, and drink, and they just keep on growing and replicating and so forth without your, um, without your body saying that, yes, I do want to produce more of these cells, okay? So here is a picture of um, a tongue that has a, a, a cancer, so tongue cancer. Um, and again, the, the, you can see that the, the cells become very irregular. They, they're growing in the different shapes and they don't really follow what the, the normal tongue will look like. Uh, over here, you can also see it's inside of a stomach wall and sometimes you can form um, tumors. Now, um, Cancer only increase risk with um, patients that are much more older, and that is because as you get older, um, your defense mechanism or the regulating system for cell cycle uh, becomes weaker, and therefore there's a higher chance of you be able uh, to you know potentially develop cancer cells or tumor cells because your regulations of cell cycle has uh, dropped in terms of its operation for examples and over on the left hand side you can see it starts at TIS and t T4 basically those are cell stages TIS normally just means a few cells that are abnormally growing um, and then you end up with stage one stage two stage three and you end up with stage four now stage four normally the cell has already gone into the bloodstream so what happens these cells can travel through the bloodstream and start spreading around your body and at that time I mean um, you can still go through chemotherapy or any sort of um, uh, treatment, but it will be harder to treat because you start seeing these cells appearing um, different parts of your body, all right? And genitive cancer, so obviously 
Uh, the reason that you get cancer cells or development of cancer cells is because there's a likelihood of a mutation that occurs in your DNA. Now, this mutations could potentially just be a genetic defect. So some people can inherit uh, a, a, a likely chance of developing certain type of cancer because of their lineage, uh, lineage and uh, you know, family history and so forth. However, mutations can also occur due to environmental um, exposure. So for example, if you eat a lot of red meat, uh, red meat is considered to be uh, carcinogenic because they're not good for your body. If you smoke a lot, then you obviously, you know, aggravate your lung cells and the aggravation could potentially mutate your lung cells and to produce cancer. Um, so the mutated gene that causes cancer is called oncogene. So basically these genes, are, they're, you know, they're inside our body, but they normally function normally, okay, right? The minute they start mutating, then they could potentially trigger the productions of these tumor cells, right? Um, now, the mutation actually occurred quite frequently, but most of the mutations uh, inside our bodies um, will actually detect it and then actually reverse the effect. However, as you get older, um, obviously the, the checking mechanism uh, becomes weaker and therefore you increase the risk of developing cancer. Uh, now, the mutation that cause cancer usually occur in one cell, um, but obviously um, that one cell will divide as well, just kind of like mitosis, the process of mitosis divide and, and produce more cells and so forth, and they will end up to be uh, developing tumors and so forth. So that's the basis of cell cycles. I will highly recommend you guys to check um, the DNA replication uh, video that I have, I have linked uh, in the Google Slides, but I will also upload that onto Google Classroom. Um, and that this will cover uh, most of your SciPad pages, uh, the assignment I've set for you for this, uh, for this week. And I will see you guys next time.